it was. You know, the first target that we looked at in deeper water, there it was right in front of us. I remember the first images of this small forest, it seemed like, of wooden objects rising up out of the sediment. And everyone was just like, this is something interesting. And then as we got closer, we found this one piece that seemed to be much taller than the other ones, and they started following it up. And it just kept going and going and going. And we got to the top, like, this is the mast of a ship. And the room just sort of went quiet. From the knot at the top of the mast to the timbers on the keel, the 1,500-year-old Byzantine sailing ship was perfectly preserved. No other ancient ship had ever been found in this pristine condition, so it was an unprecedented find. Suddenly coming out of the gloom, we saw that mast of that ancient shipwreck, this mythical kind of ship that we read about was possible, but no one had ever found one. Just mesmerized. Even though you're a scientist, even though you've done this a zillion times, you're still overwhelmed by it because it's so special. But seven years ago, all the team could do was look. They didn't have the time or the tools to excavate such an important piece of history. Today, they do. Once again, Ballard and his team have reassembled on the waters of the Black Sea. But this time, they've come with some state-of-the-art technology to excavate a one-of-a-kind site. So our goal is to go back now and expose the ship and see its state and enter the ship. And that's going to be very exciting. I can't wait. The expedition plans to make two stops first on a new shipwreck in shallow waters, then on to the deep water site discovered seven years ago. They're working on a tight two-week schedule with a limited budget in a sea unlike any other on Earth. What makes the Black Sea unique is a dense layer of stagnant, oxygen-deprived water that blankets its lower depths and acts like a preservative. This layer may have been formed when the Black Sea first took shape. One theory suggests that 7,500 years ago, the Black Sea was a large, landlocked, freshwater lake. But since the end of the last ice age, sea levels had begun to rise. Water from the Mediterranean poured over a thin strip of land called the Bosporus and drained into the freshwater lake, increasing its size by 50%. Over time, the heavier salt water sank to the bottom where it was trapped, cut off from the oxygen usually supplied by ocean currents. One byproduct of this dead layer is the creation of hydrogen sulfide, a poison to most living things. That dead anoxic layer lies below a depth of about 600 feet, and almost nothing can live in it, including things that like to eat ships 